Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about how I connected a dynamic microphone such as the Neumann TLM-103 or Shure SM7B that is typically connected to any audio interface to the computer. But in this case, I have connected it directly to the top handle of FX3 for this awesome sound. I'm so happy with this top handle on the FX3 because now I don't have to record the audio separately. I can connect the XLR input from here onto the top handle directly. And I know that we can also do that with the Sony KLM attachment onto the A7S3, but the adjustments and the audio processing feels a little better on the top handle that comes with the Sony FX3. Until recently, I was using the other digital mic from Sony, but when I switched over to the shotgun option that I can connect onto the top handle when I'm vlogging or if I'm not sitting at my desk or when I'm at desk, the option to connect this mic directly onto the camera and get awesome sound that is game changing. It makes the workflow so easy. So let me give you a quick comparison of how the sound difference is between the BCM shot mic and the shotgun mic that I used with the top handle. So let's get started. This is the top handle for the Sony FX3 cinema camera. And the good thing with having a top handle is that you can attach any shotgun microphone on top of it and then you can get a awesome quality sound. You don't have to have this wind muff, uh, but right now what you're hearing is through the digital uh, EC, ECM B1M microphone. Uh, so that's very compact and pretty good in my opinion, but I'm curious to see what we can get using the top handle and if it is any better to have this bulky setup on top of the camera or I can just use the Sony ECM B1M digital microphone as is. So we will find out. So let me connect this and uh, see how it sounds. All right, so now I removed the Vinma from the mic, but I have connected the mic using the XLR. So it's uh, almost half an inch away from me. So that's one advantage of having the handlebar on top of the mic because when you connect the this smaller mic, it, it is actually way behind eight or nine inches away from where I am versus when you connect the handlebar and put the mic on top of it, it's actually less than six inches away from me. So obviously when you have the mic closer, you get always better audio. So that's there, but you have to have the top handle to connect the mic. And right now what you're hearing is from the Sennheiser MKEH416. And uh, previously I was using the Sony Digital ECM B1M. Uh, so just check your comparison to see, is it worth to have the top handle and have this shotgun microphone, or is it just easy to carry the smaller piece and you know, maybe have 90% good audio. So that's what I'm trying to find out. So let's uh, go back upstairs. That's the test. And now I have connected this directly without running it to the audio interface on my computer. That's how, you know, typically I do. I have to run it to the uh, focus right and then to the computer, record the audio separately. But now I can connect the XLR from here directly to the top handle of the camera. So I don't have to worry about processing the audio separately. So I'm super happy. All right, so now let me take the SD card, put it back and let me hear it for myself. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I think that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a quick video just to show you guys the difference and how easy it is to get good quality sound when used with the top handle on the Sony FX3. You can also get similar results if you attach the KLM3 microphone, the XLR attachment onto 
A7S 3 if you have that body or you can use it still with Sony A7C anything that where you can get the XLR input then I would definitely recommend trying it out because the difference in audio is day and night. Hope you learned something from this video and if you did give it a like and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.